Welcome to the Nexus of Worlds. My name is Mark Evans. This is my interview content, and I hope you learned something from this and enjoy. Hi, I'm Aldir Gidas Reyes from Yati Liluan Cebu 29, and a physical therapist slash property advisor assisting a real estate agent. All right, so I'm a physical therapist from Poor Motion Physical Therapy and Pain Clinic and also a property advisor, which is basically a real estate agent who doesn't have a title yet. However, we do assist with, with the real estate agents to deal with properties all around Cebu. So I was once a probationary second lieutenant for the Philippine Air Force. However, I quit because I don't think that I'm fit for the military life. To become a physical therapist, you would need to study a five-year course. If unlucky, you, you will need six or seven. <laughs> However, that, after that, you need to take the board exam. You need to pass it. To become a property advisor, you need to have a brokerage or a friend who is a uh, real estate agent or salesperson or broker. And then you need to connect with them. So despite the general opinion that we are masseuse, we are not. Uh, we actually help with people regain their mobility if they have been diminished or even lost. Usually we do help with stroke patients to be able to walk again, even if they are bedridden. But despite saying that, that's just the tip of the iceberg on what we do. So there are different kinds of physical therapy. One would be for neuro, the others for lungs. There's also a sports rehab and the others. Actually, we don't just treat the ailment or the deformity or disease, but we also prevent them, or we, we try to prevent them before they, they even happen. Do you also treat athletes yeah. as a physical therapy? Yes, we do treat athletes. That's the sports rehab part. Right, so first things first, we strengthen the athlete or improve their performance. Second would be to prevent the injury before it even happened. And third is to treat the injury if ever it may happen. That would be stroke, low back pain, and sciatica. It's like when there is pain that is radiating on your leg. Sometimes it's just on your thigh. Sometimes it comes from the spine up until the thigh. As a property advisor, uh, we help with people to find the best property for them. For example, like condominiums or house and lot or even uh, lot only. So to become a property advisor, you just need to have that grip. Because to be honest, there's a lot on the market and that competition would drag you down and would sometimes get your clients, but no worries. You need to just continue and improve yourself because one day you'd be on top. So for the physical therapy, you need to be ready for those sleepless nights. Let's say about two or three days sleepless nights and despite those sleepless nights, you will still fail. Become a, a property advisor. Again, you need to have that grit. I will tell you one story. I have this uh, colleague of mine. Uh, she was, let's say, on January, she started the her real estate career. And even after nine months, she was not able to sell a single property. But after that, after learning from the from those failures for the for nine months, she became our top earner. Right, so during my internship, I was really rigid, like I need to do things by the book. After that, I became a administrator for the Forward Motion Physical Therapy and Pain Clinic, in which I handle the assignments of the physical therapist. After that, I really became the physical therapist that I am now. So I handle the clients. I do my own um, 
treatment program. I was really excited during that day as I can now officially say that I am a physical therapist, that I am the one creating the program to be able that man to walk. And that, my college days has finally paid off. So my very first experience as a property advisor, I remember that first day. That day that I went to the office and signed up with them. I remember the time that as our team leader was explaining about how a property advisor works and how to get clients, I think that I would really fit for this job. And then after a week or within that week, I sold my very first property. So to be honest, I wanted to be a pediatrician. So I would need to make or to choose a pre-med course. Uh, I wanted to go with a friend, so I would need to choose between a physical therapist or a nursing. So I chose physical therapy. So I went with my physical therapy, do what the uh, student should do, survive. At times, I thought it was really restraining as I really wanted to sell. Back in high school, I kept on selling things like food or even candies. Back then, I thought that physical therapy was not really a fit for me. I did what a seller or a salesperson would do. I made my, I made my classmates' assignments. I did my friends' homeworks for a price. physical therapy uh, there are two so you can work at the hospital or clinic sometimes at the hospital there's something called volunteer so you don't earn anything there's also some hospitals where they would hire you which is around 20 20,000 or more 23 for home care that would be 800 or per personal ease or patients per International, that would be, let's say for the U.S., that would be 300000 For property advisor, um, it would depend if you have sales. In my end, that would be commission-based. So I could end around 9000 for a single property. However, if you can sell around, uh, let's say, house unlocked, which is around $8 million, so the junior property advisor can earn the 2.5 percent, so around 200,000. That would be just for a single property. There were a couple of times. It's not really uh, the worst, but it's a redundant thing where you prepared yourself for the treatment. You prepared your things. You canceled your meetings, but then. When you get to the patient, or after a few hours, the patient would cancel the, the treatment. Also, there's, I think there's one worse, where the payment supposedly would be uh, 800. Then the patient asked for a really huge discount. I would tell you this, that the fare in going back and forth to her area would be around 400 so i don't think i don't think 100 would be is worth my time right. this is not actually the worst but bad experience is when you you post a or you put up a property then there's a lot of inquiries and then there's no, no sale or no sale, uh, no sale for a month or so. No, no, you earn nothing. The best experience that I had was when my patient, a stroke patient, was able to take her first step. You can see the emotion in her face, the, the, the little tears in her eyes, the, even though she's, she's, almost crying you can see that she was happy that she was able to take that first step it was from the long 
days and I think it was more than a, a few months after her first stroke it was then that she was able to walk after the bedridden period that was the point where I did love my physical therapy career so I had a sale no I mean three sales with only one developer so the rule of this developer would be after a time period let's say actually one year and six months after the one year and six months period they would uh, they would pay the entire cash in full so I got the the whole money at the end of the one year and six months period so it's not staggeredly paid for someone who has for that time in that time that I was low in cash it's really it was really a blessing so receiving that large amount of money in that month it's like your um, your problems were solved for the physical therapist I would advise that you need to study hard no actually that's wrong you need to study smart there are things where you need to prioritize a subject more than the other however know your professor because the question sometimes reflects on their attitude or the their the way they make the sentences the, the questions so, it is really hard for your first time however it is a building experience once you get to that point sales will come to you also for the property advisor the sky is the limit there's no limit to your earnings here you can earn as much as six or seven digits within a month. So I'm passionate about getting the things that I want. May it be money, dreams, and even food. I love to enjoy life. I like to explore new things, experience new things, cook and eat new things, and just be happy and do what I do what I want to do, be free, because that's, that is life for me. I also like to cook. I think cooking is, is an expression. It shows on your dish the way the, the meat or the sauces is strong or the way that's how you show your love. You can cook for somebody else, you can cook for yourself, and you can cook for your entire family. The way you show it, the way the food tastes, I think that is the soul of the chef or the cook. I also tried painting. It was a shoe, Sakura shoe. It was a feminine design, but don't get me wrong, I'm not a fan. <laughs> it was just, I love the art style, the way, oh, to be honest, I love Japan. That's, I think that was the, the soul, uh, I mean, the way I express how how I love their country, the manga, the I think Japan is a really nice country. So I think that's why I painted the sakura on that shoe. I like creating things, taking the ugly raw products and turn it into something better. Or just create life. That's why I love fish breeding. So I do breed fish. Also, about the creating something, I also want to create the coffee. Uh, the, a lot of businesses, coffee brands. Also this, I want to change how the Filipino market would help the, I don't think that's less fortunate, but the employees, because the Filipino market or the employer system they need to have a college graduate I don't think that's correct they wouldn't I could hire a fresh graduate or a even a non-graduate as long as they have the skills that's why I love to help people too first I started with betta fish or the Siamese fighting fish they are you don't need to maintain them they can also they can live in bottles so they don't need the aerator so maintaining them is just food and changing water 
for uh, the next one would be then use the green uh, um, green fish because once I visited the another fish breeder I was amazed by how majestic it was there's flaps and flaps and then I think that was cool and the third one would be guppy actually I started fish breeding because I want to kill the mosquitoes in my area <laughs> So I got this meta fish and then feed the, the mosquito larvae on our barrel. I want to see me as more than just a physical therapist, more than just a property advisor, more than just a fish breeder, more than just someone who loves to cook. I want them to see me as someone who, someone you can approach, someone you can you need to go to or someone you can go to if you need help with anything just about anything in life because I don't think a single profession can restrict me I don't think a single hobby can describe who I am because I, I think I am more than what these titles are and that is who I am and this, this is what I love to do I know this is a famous quote, you only live once. It is true. You need to explore life. Life is really a vast ocean where only uh, one or two percent that has been explored or where most people has already explored. I don't say it that it's only the places, but enjoy life in a broader way, not just a single path. Actually enjoy a lot of things because you don't get to enjoy that in the next life if there is one so chill be happy and strive for additional happiness also take a break laugh and you can't be that serious all the time be happy enjoy the journey i hope you learned something from this interview please subscribe and like the video for more content like this thank you for watching